what is up everybody welcome back to my channel i'm so excited october is finally here we can do our gore makeup and i am going to mix it with a little bit of glam of course so if you're interested in seeing how i did this look keep on watching and make sure you guys are subscribing because this month is going to be lit i swear starting with this peeled back face glam look so like i said if you're interested in watching and seeing how i did all this go ahead and keep on watching As always, you know I'm going to start out with my brows and I'm using my NYX Brow Gel and Espresso. And I'm just aligning my brows, you know how I do, when I do, how I do it. Nothing has changed, nothing has changed. Oh, something has changed. I've been using the soap to tame my brows. I'll do a tutorial on how I do that also. And starting by moisturizing my face with some Nivea cream and my primer. I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever HD foundation today. The stick foundation. And y'all, this stuff is the bomb. I really, 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 really like this foundation. I was kind of skeptical at first. Um, but I really like the formula. I like how it glides on. Super, 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 super nice. Definitely like it. I got, I received this and the liquid foundation from Influencer, and it is the bomb. I got lucky. I ne I'd never get anything. I was so excited. So yeah, I like the way that it blends. It, it definitely got the job done. So shout out to them. Shout out to them. And I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Cool Tan and just highlighting a little bit. Gonna blend that in with a damp sponge or you can use a beauty blender, you can use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you want, girl, but I'm gonna use this little disposable sponge and make sure everything is blended. Then I go back in the brush to furthermore make sure everything is blended. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with a little bit of L'Oreal Translucent Powder. Y'all know the deal. Ain't nothing changed around these parts. <laughs> we are going to make sure everything is set. Now we're going to get to the eyes. And for the eyes, I am going in with the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm using, I start off by using like an orange shade. And then um, I kind of deepen everything out with um, some really dark earth tone browns. Still from that same palette. They're towards the bottom of the palette. But yeah, like the darkest brown that they have. I'm going in with that and blending everything out on my corner. So I'm going to do a bit of a halo eye. Again, the focus is really on the special effects makeup, but this is the glam part. So I went in, smudged it out on the outer corners and in the inner corners, and kept packing that on. Blending it, blending it, pack it on, blend it, blend it. I then went in with a pigment from MAC, Vanilla's Pigment, and, or no, 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 this was the tan pigment, and I'm just packing that all over the, the center of my eye. And then I take a fine, fine glitter that I picked up from TJ Maxx a while ago, and it is just a really pretty fairy tale dusty shimmer. And I'm packing that over that pigment. Super, super pretty, right? Then at the bottom of the eye, I'm just smudging that dark brown. Gonna do a little wing really quick. Well, I sped it up, but you know, you know. <laughs> Add a little highlighter and you're good to go. Finish the face. Now we're gonna go in with Mayron's Sin Wax and make sure you wipe off the area where you're gonna be applying this so it does not, um, it won't stick if you don't wipe off that area. So wipe it off with a non-oily oil uh, makeup remover and add some spirit gum. This is what's going to help that wax, the Sin Wax, actually adhere to your skin make sure it's tacky first and then start applying it and I did this a few times um, basically repeating the steps so adding the spirit gum placing down the wax and yeah 
and this was my first time doing this actual look so next time I would be sure to make sure I'm blending as I go I kind of was just adding the pieces placing them where I wanted them to go and then I blended everything out which it it, it kind of made things a little bit more complicated but I mean to each its own I think it's better to blend as you go so yeah I'm gonna go in with um, a little spatula and start smoothing out those edges and I also use my finger if you dip your finger in a little bit of alcohol and rub along the edges it'll help smooth and lay down those edges for a little tip you can use alcohol or you can use like Vaseline some kind of petroleum jelly and um, that way the wax isn't sticking to your fingers and ripping apart it's just kind of smoothing everything out as you can see I start pinching the edges to make it look like the skin is actually torn up and raised um, just to give it a little bit of dimension not so it's like flat but yeah and then I keep going in with the spatula my finger the spatula the finger just to press down those edges and yeah you should end up with something like this and I'm gonna go in with some foundation I started blocking out that tan color um, with a little bit of foundation and then I start getting deeper and deeper along the edges and also I don't think I showed it but I did go over it with some um, translucent powder um, just to make sure everything wasn't super super shiny you know then I'm going in with some liquid latex because I'm going to create a little bit of texture trying to mimic a little bit of torn like muscle inside like if my face is really ripped open I'm showing a little bit of exposed muscle so I'm going in with some liquid latex and some cotton balls just to create that texture and voila So next I'm going in with a little bit of thick blood and I believe this is from Mayron as well. And I'm just basically lining the inner edge of my scar. So where it would have been cracked open or ripped open, I'm putting that thick blood, laying that thick blood along that line. And then creating some texture with the blood. Then I start going ham. <laughs> and then I'm adding a little bit of fresh blood. So the thick blood is more of a dry blood, blood as if, you know, the scar has been open for a while. Um, and then the fresh blood gives it that more realistic type look as if, you know, stuff really went down. Like it just, it just went down. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty, pretty easy. Didn't take me long at all. If you guys like this look, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions or any looks that you want to see for this October Halloween season, go ahead and leave them in the description or the comments below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.